What's up guys, how are you all doing? Uh, today is the 9th of June and it is 11, 12 a.m. Uh, I'm just about on the way to do my cardio. Uh, I'm gonna go pick up a white monster um, and then I'm gonna go do my cardio. Uh, the reason why I have a monster is just because it's a little bit of caffeine, give me a little bit of kick um, and it's not as much caffeine as a pre-workout. Um, and I don't drink coffee, so just a little easy way to get in, tastes nice, so good little treat. Uh, so let me update you guys. Uh, I'm currently doing two days cardio a week, once on a refeed day and once on a rest day. I try and have a rest day every week, but I can't guarantee it happens, so when it doesn't happen, I'll just do the cardio on another day. Um, um, so today is my rest day. Um, I'm exhausted from the weekend, uh, from the weekend, from the week body's really aching so it just felt like a right day to take the rest um, so I'm just gonna head in and do my 30 minutes of cardio fasted I'll come back and I'm gonna take you through a full day of eating guys a full day of eating on the cut I'm gonna keep it relatively raw um, and I'll show you every single thing that I ingest today and I'm also headed up to Birmingham later to go see Sammy so stay with me stay tuned Flipping hot in that room. There's no air conditioning the way I like it. Nice hot, nice and muggy. Real good sweat on. Um, I like to split my cardio. Um, so I did 20 minutes on the stepper, uh, just bobbing up and down. Um, really works on my quads. And if you want to change your foot placement, you can feel your hamstrings and glutes and also calves. Uh, and then I do a 10 minute incline walk. Um, I love the incline walk because uh, it really does work your calves. Um, and it's something that everyone needs to work on, let's face it. So um, I do love an incline walk, get a big calf pump. Um, just a little bit more, more stimulation than I would do during the day. Uh, then I moved on, just I did some abs afterwards, because I haven't done abs in a couple of days now, so I just decided to do some abs. So the way I've been doing abs, guys, I briefly touched on it in a previous video. The way I've been doing abs with is with the mind to keep my, my waist tight, very, very tight. So I've been doing vacuums. Um, I've just started these the last couple of days. Um, I'm gonna see how they bring in my waist, if they can bring my waist, give me some more stomach control. Um, and other than that, I've been doing lots of planks. Um, just to, again, to keep that hold, to hold it tight. Because when you're on stage, if you're not holding that pose, if you're not holding it tight, it really does make a difference. It's one thing that I do notice when I watch competitions. Um, so you've got to learn from what you watch, you have to learn. Um, and then I just do some side crunches on my left side only. Yes, I only do them on my left side because I have um, an undeveloped oblique on this side. Um, it's very, very, very evident um, as I'll show you in these pictures right now. This is comparing my right to my left. Um, it's very, very evident. So I'm just trying to work on that and it is working. I can really, really feel the difference now. I've been doing this for about a week maybe. No, a week, uh, a month maybe. Um, and I really do notice the difference. Um, that combined with massage, we're just trying to get that oblique to fire because right now I'm not getting that connection to it like I would do with my other side. So I'm just trying to get that. Um, and then just a little lab circuit just to finish. Um, let's get this day of eating starting. It is 12.30. Yes, guys, I eat at 12.30. Forget the myths that you need to stay in the anabolic window. It's not true. If it was, I'd be a skinny mess right now. Well, I do feel quite skinny, but you know what I mean. Uh, let's get this day of, start, day of eating started. Uh, I'm gonna cook lunch and dinner first. See you inside. Breakfast time. Welcome to my protein pancakes. So for those of you that follow me on Snapchat, you know that I always kind of been having two, uh, three eggs, two pieces of bread, half an avocado. But recently I've just changed my protein pancakes. I've already put this recipe on my Snapchat, so do follow me on Snapchat here. Um, let's get it. First thing, almond milk. We're gonna stick 300 grams. In fact, we're gonna go 250. Exactly. Gonna go 150 grams of egg whites. We 
gonna go for 60 grams of oats today. So I'm hungry. One scoop of any protein that you desire. For me, I just use this because I've just got it here. Should be a 30 gram scoop. And then we're gonna go one whole egg. Just for good measure, I'm gonna put a scoop of uh, creatine in there. Get in there, you won't even, you won't even, you won't even know it. That's it, that's the full recipe. I'm gonna blend this shit now. The key is you just wanna blend it for like five seconds, 10 seconds, just to whip up, because the egg whites, they will fluff up. Let's go. You want to get your pan really, really hot. Um, just so they cook quick and then they don't, they don't stick to the pan. And then you just pour your mixture in, wait to cook on one side, flip it over, and you're good. Just like this, it's gonna fail. It's gonna fail, but just like this. Pour it straight into the middle and just tilt it round so you get a pancake shape and just let it cook. You gotta make sure you let it cook like at least 15 minutes each side. Um, <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Uh, a couple minutes each side um, or just, just, just keep poking it until you can flip it. Just like this. Line your pan with just like one calorie spray. I use the coconut one, the fry light one calorie spray. Every spray is just one calorie. Um, kind of just do about 10 sprays, so it's about 10 calories. Pretty instant, but I do count into my macros. Um, it's just better than using oil. Oil is very, 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 very high in calories. So it's just a little alternative and your pan doesn't stick. The final product. They do actually come out really well. Like they're good and thick. Put some topping on there, real nice. So guys, let me quickly talk you through the macros of these pancakes. Um, I've got four pancakes, I've already eaten two, hungry. Um, let me talk, talk you through the macros of these pancakes and the macros for me for the day. So, in those pancakes there was, when you decide to focus, 659 calories, right here. Uh, all here's all the ingredients, all inputted, if I just turn this to the side. So there was 72 grams of carbs, 15 fat, and 56 protein. Pretty decent, pretty decent. Um, something different for the morning, keeping my fats lower. Um, Cause I used to have those three eggs which put my fat skyrocket for the day. So it actually saves me a lot of calories for later on in the day, which is good because it fills me up just a bit, a little bit more as well. So in terms of the full day, I am now eating where I have been for the last week or so, 3,000 calories. 3,000 calories exactly. Um, I'm doing two cardio sessions a week, like I said earlier in the video, um, and that's, that is making me lose, you know, I'm starting to lose weight now. Um, in terms of macros, so for protein, I'm hitting 227 grams of protein. For carbs, I'm hitting 341 grams of carbs. Uh, and for fats, I'm having 84 grams of carbs. Um, pretty good, fat's high, like I said, good good hormone regulation, keeping me well. Um, I actually put my fats down a little bit, so I can put my carbs up again a little bit. Um, I'm feeling great, guys, I'm feeling great. Um, I'm very, very much in the routine now, so I'm not getting hungry anymore. Um, I was actually dying on 3,000 calories, but I've persevered and now I'm not that hungry, so I know that I can start chipping away now. Um, a new low weight this morning, no, wasn't a new low weight this morning. Um, and I'm supposed to have my refeed tomorrow, 
So what am I gonna do? I'm actually gonna delay my refeed this week. Um, I'm probably gonna hit it at the weekend, maybe Monday, Tuesday, just because I wanna make sure I hit a new low weight before I refeed again, just to make sure I know that I've lost a little bit of weight, just to make sure I'm on track. So 12 weeks to go now. Right, hope you enjoyed breakfast. I'll see you at lunch. Meal two, 250 grams of chicken, 400 grams of sweet potato, one medium jazz apple, 643 calories. In terms of carbs, proteins, fats, that is 104 carbs, three fat, and 54 protein. Just like to save most of my veggies for the rest of the night. Um, I get much, much hungrier towards the end of the night, so I just load up on veggies uh, just to fill me up through the night. That's meal two. I'll see you in meal three. Snack. One banana, about 110 grams. Meal three of four. Um, this is where I like to get my veg in, so I got a load of onions in there, a load of mushrooms, a load of green beans. Um, I ran out of mince, so I threw some turkey in there as well. Um, and then I just used some old El Paso barbecue seasoning with 90 grams of basmati rice. So there is... ...771 calories in this meal. Uh, there's more calories in this meal because there's more fat. So there's 83 carbs, 13 fat, 77 protein. Um, this leaves me with... Hang on a second. This leaves me with... 829 calories rest for the day. Um, I'm gonna cook that meal either at home, or I'm gonna get my mum to cook it, or I'll cook it my girlfriend's. Um, and I like to leave maybe 100, 150 calories at the end of the night just so I can have a little shake before bed, just to keep me full when I'm in bed. Um, other than that, that's pretty much what I eat up to about now, which is... Eight, 24, meal three. I like to eat every four or five hours. Um, bigger meals, um, just because I like to be full. We'll see you at the next meal. Hope you've enjoyed it so far. Just got to Birmingham. One thing I forgot to say guys, drink water. I drink four liters of water a day, minimum. Minimum, sometimes I drink five, sometimes I drink six even, you know, just however much I can drink or however much I want to drink, I'll just drink. But as long as it's liquid based, uh, water based, you'll be all right. There's kind of juices and stuff, it's okay. I mean, just the, the, the non-added sugar ones to be preference. Drink water. So luckily, <clears throat> oh my God. So I just got to Birmingham. Um, luckily, I had my mum make me my final meal. Um, so I got to eat it on the way. Uh, saves me a bit of time. Um, so that final meal of um, couscous, chicken breast, feta, and mixed vegetables came to a total of... So my final meal got to 687 calories. Um, 100 grams of couscous. 200 grams of chicken breast, 54 grams of feta, 72 grams of carbs, 16 fat, and 66 protein. That completely rounds up my day of eating, guys. 3,000 calories on the dot. Um, I'm feeling good. Um, a bit flat today. I'm supposed to have a refeed tomorrow, but I'm probably going to extend it for a couple of days because I haven't hit my low weight yet. But that's pretty much it for me. Hope you guys give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If not, don't worry about it. Subscribe. Peace.